This is Gene Key, KDD News. ConnectAmarillo.com reports a 40-year-old man was booked into the Moore County Jail after police said he attempted to rob a convenience store here. Jeremy Livingston, 40, of Chihuahua, Washington, according to Dumas Police, entered the Pakasac in the 100 block of North Dumas Avenue about 7.45 Wednesday evening. Livingston approached the clerk and demanded money. He then fled on foot. A two-hour manhunt ended with authorities arresting Livingston in a field south of Dumas. Livingston was booked on a charge of attempted robbery. NewsChannel10.com reports the death of two Amarillo residents inside their home has been ruled a murder-suicide. Amarillo Police Department say preliminary autopsy results show Carolyn Norid died after being shot several times. Investigators originally thought her husband, Dr. Henry Norid, shot himself, but they say he committed suicide in a different way. Toxicology results are still pending. The two were found dead inside their home on the 3400 block of Concord Tuesday afternoon. MyHighPlains.com reports Texas Department of Transportation contractors continue replacing existing speed limit signs, resetting the speed limit to 75 miles an hour. The signs will be changed in Potter and Oldham County soon. The contractors should finish changing the signs along all of Interstate 40 by today. Plans are to begin placing the I-27 signs next week starting in Lubbock and working north. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.